Governor Christie chose Trenton Catholic Academy as the latest backdrop to highlight his education proposals today. Joined by Rochelle Hendricks, the state's Secretary of Higher Education, he rattled off a number of funding increases included in this year's budget. More than $37 million for tuition aid grants, increasing the Education Opportunity Fund for the first time in four years, and a million dollars for his Urban Scholarship Fund. To provide some of our brightest students from inner cities and urban communities access to new Jersey's colleges and universities. So the program will provide up to a million dollars in funding for as many as a thousand freshman students in the next academic year. Christie's taken to visiting public and private schools to help lay out his agenda and it's become a successful tactic. It shouldn't be just for the well-off who have an opportunity to choose a public school or choose a parochial school or choose a private school for their children. He emphasized the need to provide more options for students in the Garden State, but when asked about the pushback from some faculty and students on a separate higher education option, the proposed Rutgers-Rowan merger, the governor left no room for compromise and said the plan is full steam ahead. I cannot believe that Rutgers University is going to turn down the opportunity to be able to get Robert Wood Johnson Medical School the Cancer Institute um, and uh, the School of Public Health over this dispute. Because let me make something very clear. It all happens or none of it happens. The talk trickled back to his focus on elementary education and relationship with the NJEA, the teachers union that has clashed with Christie since taking office. Just yesterday, the governor's interaction with the teacher and NJEA member struck a rarely seen softer tone. He indicated he's ready to sit down for a constructive conversation when they are. You decide you want to try to bat me around? Well, then I'm going to respond by treating you harshly. Uh, and that's the way I was raised, too. So, you know, my tone with that teacher yesterday was the way it was because that's the tone with which she approached me. But all this talk about education reform boils down to having the money to do it. Standard & Poor's has said that the governor's budget relies on optimistic revenue growth. And just this week, a national think tank, the Rockefeller Institute of Government, said that across the country, state tax revenue is slowing down. Today, Christie pointed to his track record. When I've been very conservative about the projections, you remember the legislature said I was being too conservative. Turned out I've been more right than they've been. And now I've decided to be more aggressive, not based because I just decided to be, but because our economic forecasters, uh, Professor Steindell and the people in his department inside Treasury, have told me that they believe this is what's going to happen. For NJ Today, I'm Brianna Venosi in Hamilton.